Have you ever been to a place where dreams come true? Where lions sing and even witches can be beautiful. I have a secret. I'm 10 years old and so is the Schuster Center. I love this place. People have said, how is this possible in Dayton, Ohio? It's improved the quality of the arts. We're only limited by our own imaginations. There is a true economic impact in the Dayton region. This is the crown jewel of our community. Walking into the Winter Garden just puts me in absolute awe, and it sort of recharges your soul. Soaring atrium, the glass walls, the soaring palm trees, the, the real uh, sense of something special. And then the other soaring space in, in this facility is, of course, the Mead Theater. When you walk into the Mead Theater and you see the stage and you look up to this iconic ceiling, you will know that you've landed in the Schuster Center. Inside these doors, in this space, magic happens. People laugh and cry. They feel something. Something they don't feel anywhere else. And when the lights go down, it's like another world. been a couple of attempts before to put something together that hadn't quite worked and so uh, this is sort of a new beginning. And so the issue wasn't whether people would support it, it was could we raise a hundred million dollars to fund it. And I remember one evening we I had just flown into Dayton with my two young boys and my parents brought us into the family room and showed us the news clip of the implosion of Reich's department store. And of course, it just symbolized the, the dream taking form of reality. That was really exciting. And then from those ashes came this beautiful facility. The Schuster Performing Arts Center could not have been built uh, without the individuals, the businesses, the public sector, uh, the community involvement. You had really smart, visionary people who said, we want this for our community and we're going to make it happen. I think the community embraced it right from the beginning. There were so many people anxious to see it. And then they've kept coming since. I like to think the performers will always be here. Because they've left a little bit of themselves. This is what most people don't see. The magic that happens away from the stage. In this building, the excitement is everywhere. I want to be a part of that. I think the art is better. People, to, you know, I'm, I'm not really a sophisticated listener. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to tell the difference. Will I be able to tell the difference? And I said, I promise you, you'll be able to tell the difference. And then, and of course, they were the people who were the most blown away. It's almost like they had been listening to music almost in two dimensions, and they just didn't realize there was a third dimension to the sound. And uh, people were just so, so thrilled by it. The impact of the Schuster on the opera is, is has been an amazing thing. If you are playing in a hall where you feel confident that you sound good, you play better. And you're, you're willing to take chances a little bit in, in the way you play. It changed the way everyone worked almost instantaneously. I, I hear time and time again from singers that come here of how wonderful 
This, this theater is the, all of the backstage amenities as well as the, the great acoustics. It's pretty special to be on stage at the Schuster Center. It's an experience where you're caught in the moment with this beautiful architecture and the lights and how the sound just like encompasses you with this space. And then to have experience backstage now and, and be a performer, I think it's even more magical because you're a part of that experience and you're getting to provide that for the audience. Five minutes to curtain. I want to hear those words. I want to feel what it's like to walk on stage to a full house. I want to feel butterflies, as scary as that might be. The investment that the community has made in the Schuster is significant. The economic value is quite easy to quantify. You look at the number of people you're attracting. Each year over the last 10 years, 350,000 people visited the Schuster. You look at what they're spending to come here. The revenues generated by those 350,000 patrons is about $20 million a year. You look at uh, you know, just the amount of ancillary uh, spending that people take uh, to go to an event, parking, restaurants, uh, babysitters. That's another $8 million. There is clearly about 26 to $30 million worth of economic activity associated with what we do. I can't tell you how many people gave to the whole project, that it was probably a thousand or more, uh, all the way from, you know, the $8 million gift to $5. It's amazing the number of businesses that use the Schuster Center as a recruiting tool to bring high quality talent into our community. Because companies are actually locating where the young intellectual capital wants to live, work, and play. And uh, for our region, that means having a vibrant downtown. We're really about creating a great sense of place where people want to be. And the Schuster is really key in making that happen. You know, a community is all about shared experiences. And that's an important thing. And so we put together those experiences and that helps to build this community. I think all you have to do is to attend a performance here and see the look on people's faces. Walk around the lobby. And when we're doing a show, maybe it's Wicked or maybe it's The Lion King, and just watch the kids. I have a, uh, a nine-year-old granddaughter, Sophie, who says that the Schuster is her, whole, her favorite place in all of Dayton. And I think that captures the, the magic and the energy and the venue. We love to see it when children come, and they love it. You know, their jaws drop and their eyes go wide, and it's something that they will remember forever. They'll see all kinds of different performances, and if they have an interest in the arts, they can say, I can do that too and that's something to celebrate. I'm 10 years old, but I have a dream because I've been here and it feels like everything. If happy little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow, why, oh, Zoe, Zoe, come on, we're going to be late.